I guess why I wanted to do this topic was that a lot of people don't write letters or cards or postcards anymore and this is something that I still do, have done, have grown up doing. I guess the example was set with thank you notes, but I just continued on in a much more grandiose and extra vein. But it's something that means a lot to me, so it's something that I wanted to pass on to people who are supporting and following me, because I assume that they're going to value the same things that I do. That is something that I can provide that I think not everyone else can. So, yeah, good for the environment and good for your heart, I hope. <laughs>
before colonization, I think of runners. I mean, we have the image of the runner that you know, subsisted on cocaine to last hundreds of miles, and because that is a plant that's native to that region. So that came to mind, but then the culture of, like, running messengers came to mind. And then you wouldn't really have to have a written message. You would have the messenger themselves, so. And that turned out not to be too off base. That is something that was true for Central and South American cultures. Native American. So North American native tribes, um, when I was listening to Moon of the Crested Snow, they kept making this joke about the moccasin telegraph, which is someone coming to your house instead of fancy technology communicating. And so that wasn't letter writing, but it was a way to communicate. So I thought that was pretty cool to weave into this topic. So these are different formats, not always letters, but in modern days anyway, there's something about letters that seems to be romantic, and perhaps that's because our most representative examples are during wartime, because those are the ones that are preserved and, and cherished. So there's a romance about that. But when I thought about it, broke it down, what is really romantic about letters? Well, you have anticipation, you have a tangible thing to hold on to, it ends up being personalized, someone's handwriting, someone's doodles in the corner, the salutation that they choose to use, it's personalized for you. In today's day and age, it's rare and it can be fragile, so that can increase its value. It appears to be a time-consuming task, uh, so something has always increased in value when, you know, people took effort to do it, so that might make it more romantic and worth affirming. So I, I put this because when I think of a time-consuming task, I think, well, if I'm doing this, it means you're worth the trouble of doing it. And that's always a nice thing to hear, even if it's just implied. <laughs> you get a letter and you're, you're worth a letter. That's nice. The reason all those things feel nice is because you're affirming human connection. This is why I thought a postcard was such an on-brand offering for my Patreon because I get to make my patrons feel joy in their mailbox, right? It's not a bill. <laughs> it's something fun. They can feel anticipation for that first week of the month. It's just when I send them out. Uh, they can feel surprised at which card is chosen for them. So hopefully that brings a smile. And... And they're being thought of. So an individual message for a person proves that you're worth the time, you know? It's one of those things that just makes you feel cared about. And this year, we've had our attention brought to the added dimension that you're supporting a federal government service, which is always good, but especially now. The U.S. Postal Service apparently could use some allies. So yeah, I was just like musing about this. I'm trying, I'm trying to bring snail mail back. I'm trying to bring snail mail back. Yeah. Hopefully you got that JT reference. If not, see me after class. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Comment, question, query. Let me know. Do you write letters? Do you get letters? Do you take them for granted? Who's your favorite letter writing correspondent? Would you like a letter from me or postcard? Patreon link is down below. It would be fun to have you join. And um, yeah, that's it for today. See you guys next time.